Hi and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that we link with a summer transfer move to Arsenal. Uh, some more great games yesterday in the Euros. Really enjoyed those. Portugal are out, gone. One of the big guns gone. Belgium, the team I predicted at the start to win it, um, go marching on. They were very, very good. Um, a bit of a scrappy game, but um, two heavyweights there clashing. And in the other game, what a shock that was. Czech Republic winning that game. Wow, nobody would have thought that. See, when, every, when England beat uh, the Czech Republic, everybody was, oh, it's only the Czech Republic. <laughs> it threw the quarterfinals, mate. Wow. Um, more games happening today. Switzerland in action. Big game for them against France. Granit Xhaka, of course, will feature as the captain in that game. Um, he was asked a, a question at a press conference about, first of all, Rome. You know, the, the, the report was very smart. What do you think of it here in Rome? He said, oh, it's, you know, lovely in Rome, you know? And then uh, the reporter followed it up with the question, uh, will you be joining Roma <laughs> this season? Um, Granit Xhaka answering, Arsenal know what I want to do. Now, the way it's been written in a lot of the press is uh, almost like he sort of certified the fact that he's going. He's leaving Arsenal and um, that sort of confirmed it. He kind of... I think it's taken it slightly out of context the way he sort of did it. Um, and Arsenal know what I want to do could mean either thing. It could mean I'm staying at Arsenal or it could mean I'm going to Roma. It does probably mean that he is on his way to Roma. I think it's the, the worst kept ser secret that Roma want him. Mourinho wants him. He's going to be uh, Mourinho's new Hoiberg in uh, midfield, no doubt. And uh, Arsenal want to move him on. It is going to happen, I think. And um, if Switzerland were to get knocked out tonight, which they're predicted to do so, but they'll write him off yet. Remember the Czech Republic? <clears throat> um, you never know. Granit Xhaka could be uh, on his way to Roma very, very soon. So let's uh, see how that develops out tonight. Another player who's been at Arsenal for a very long time, who looks like he's on his way out this season, is Hector Bellerin. Hector Bellerin getting linked today with Inter Milan. Now, we know that uh, Milan um, selling their, their unbelievably good right back or right wing back, uh, Ashraf Hik Hakimi. He's on his way to um, Paris Saint-Germain. They're going to get a real windfall with that. You know, lots of money, you know, said to be around about 60 million pounds, 50 to 60 million pounds they're getting for that deal. Um, now, you would have thought then, Lots of money for them to go and splash out and get the next player they want. But Inter Milan are in a lot of financial problems. Um, they do have to, uh, you know, not, not just be spending loads and loads of money. They're interested in taking Hector Bellerin on a season-long loan with an option to buy. Um, Hector Bellerin and Dumfries, uh, who was playing for the Holland yesterday, um, they got knocked out, of course. Seems to be the two players that they're really sort of homing in on. Um, those are the two players that they're really, really interested in getting. Um, uh, a loan with an option to buy. I mean, listen, you know, a lot of these loans have got these options written into them where, you know, you have to buy the player at the end. So if it's something like that, you know, that might be attractive to Arsenal, but certainly looks like Arsenal um, are looking to... Um, move Hector Bellerin on this season. And then as a, you know, as I said, as these uh, Euros continue and teams start to get knocked out, what's going to happen with the future of certain players? Andre Silva at uh, um, Eintracht Frankfurt, of course. He came onto the game yesterday. Um, didn't really get a ch much of a chance um, within the tournament for Portugal. But now his future needs to be sorted out. And there was lots of talk that Arsenal um, are in talks with his representatives over a possible move. Um, had a great season last year um, over there in the Bundesliga. Um, I've said it many a times, outscored Haaland. That's his uh, claim to fame uh, last season. But what's going to happen with him? Um, might get a clearer sort of a view on his future. And another player that um, was also knocked out last night is Renato Sanchez, another Portuguese player. Um He's been brilliant in the tournament. Once again, he always turns up at these tournaments. But to fair, to be fair to him, I know that he's had a tough time when he was at Bayern Munich, also Swansea, but had a great season for Lille last year. They won the league over there in France. Arsenal, we know, have made inquiries to Lille and are asking Lille about the future 
of Renato Sanchez. What are you going to do? Are you looking to move him on? We know he's been a bit of a fire sale there at Lille since they've uh, won the league. Um, they've let, you know, they're already selling quite a lot of players. Um, but will they keep hold of Renato uh, Sanchez? Uh, available for around about £30 million. Pounds. Arsenal, we know if Granit Xhaka goes and needing um, a midfielder just like him, could they move um, for him? Again, going to be really, really interesting to see how that one um, pans out. And, you know, Renato Sanchez, for me, quality player. Quality, quality player. And is the type of player that Arsenal should be looking at in my books. You know, we 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 really need to get whoever we get into that midfield era. We really, really need to um, get that action right because it's, it's just been an area that we've, you know, used to be an area of strength, the midfield for Arsenal, but in recent seasons, it hasn't been. And we really need to get that right. Could Arsenal move for another Portuguese player? And that is this guy, Nuno Tavares. Uh, he's 21. He plays for Benfica. Um, he's a left back. Um, and we know that we need a left back, especially, you know, with Kieran Tierney there. We know he's brilliant. He's a, he's an awesome player, Kieran Tierney. We signed him onto a brand new contract last week, um, an additional five years. However, every Arsenal fan knows he's very injury prone um, and we need a backup left back. Uh, it was Ryan Bertrand was linked and several other players. That's not looking like it's happening. Looks like Arsenal now looking at a sort of a younger option as a backup. And uh, this guy, Nuno Tavares, he's only 21. He has a release clause of around about £75 million, but I forget that. It's not going to get done for that. Fabrizio Romano reporting yesterday that Arsenal have been in contact with uh, Nuno Tavares' agents. Um, there's a lot of talk that a deal could get done for around about £15 million. That's the sort of money that Benfica would be uh, willing to listen to offers for. And also, apparently, the player would love a move to Arsenal. So this is another one that we're going to have to see how that one pans out. He'd love a move to Arsenal. We've seen that with a lot of players. They'd love a move to Arsenal, whether it happens or not is another thing. But Arsenal definitely interested in him. They need a backup left back. Um, we know that Kolasinac is going to be moving on, even though he's come back to the club. And Arsenal definitely need somebody in that position. And we've also been linked with uh, this guy, Dennis Pratt. Remember a couple of seasons ago, we were the favourites to sign him before he ended up going to Leicester. Um, hasn't been great for him at Leicester. He's currently with the uh, Belgium squad um, at the Euros. But the talk is that when the Euros finish is he wants to sort his future out. He hasn't been happy at the uh, limited amount of game time that he's had at the King Power Stadium and um, wants to play regular football. Also sees his position under threat now that Leicester on the verge of si signing um, Bubakari Samir from um, Lille. You know, that would be even less game time for him. So uh, Dennis Pratt looking to, you know, uh, you know, all the talk is he wants to move on. And Arsenal said to be interested in him. Um, that's just uh, some of the rumours that are going around. I think the boat has sailed on that one. Yes, Arsenal were, listen, uh, were very interested in him a couple of seasons ago. But for me, what I've seen of him for Leicester, he's decent. But I'd class him as a sort of Mohamed El Nenny type player, which is, you know, a good squad player. But is he a player that's going to really come in and really strengthen that midfield? Is he better than a Granite Xhaka? No, in my books. For me, no. <laughs> I mean, two years ago, we were interested in him. Time has passed. I don't think he'll end up at Arsenal, but that's uh, one of the rumours that's flying around today. And I've got another ridiculous right, Aaron Ramsey rumour today. Remember I gave you the ridiculous one yesterday. I've got another one for you today. The ridiculous Aaron Ramsey uh, rumour today. Price goes to uh, is it Calcio Mercato over there in Italy. They're saying that apparently Juventus want to do a swap deal with Arsenal for following Balogun. Balogun to go to Juventus and Aaron Ramsey to come back the other way. Um, I'm sorry. There's no way I could see that happening. They're not on about loan. They're on about like a straight swap deal. Although we're not even playing Balogun. So, you know, but listen, Balogun's the future. And uh, Aaron Ramsey's definitely the past. And listen, he's he done great things for us. I'm not dissing him in any way. 
but it's definitely the past. And um, I cannot in a million years, if that deal was to happen, there's something seriously wrong at this club, right? Um, which there is. <laughs> so listen, those are the rumors for today. Um, thanks for watching the show. Um, don't forget to head over onto the Don Robbie channel. You can check out all of the uh, latest uh, watch alongs over there. It's been absolutely brilliant. Um, over what club 8 million views on YouTube alone for those watch along contents to the Euros. And it's been absolutely brilliant. We've been using so many different influencers. A lot of guys that you see here on AFTV have featured on that. Um, so it's, it's a really, really good fun. Um, so make sure you check that out and subscribe to that channel. Subscribe here to AFTV if you haven't really, really done so. Don't forget to like this video and don't forget tonight we're back with News Daily. We'll be keeping you updated with all the stories happening in and around Arsenal. And I'll be back in the morning with Transfer Daily. Thanks for watching the show and I'll see you tomorrow.